In 2015, we left the rat race and went to the farm. We bought a 100-year-old farmhouse and nine acres. After three years of extensive renovations, we can finally call ourselves College Hill Farm. Welcome back to College Hill Farm. I'm Joel, and today we're unboxing a new toy. Today, uh, I'm unboxing, I'm opening it for the first time. I haven't opened it yet. I've been dying to open it. I got it two days ago, and I've been dying to open it. But I'm going to open... This is a Crossman F4. It's a 1.77 or 0.177 caliber uh, air rifle. We'll open her up here and have a look. It's supposed to be whisper quiet. Uh, it says here right on the box 25% more accurate and 70% quieter. So let's get her opened up. Right off, I can tell this isn't the, the pellet rifle from my youth. I've got still got the pellet rifle I had when I was uh, 10 years old. Uh, I killed squirrels with it and rabbits and everything in the world. Uh, this is not that pellet rifle. This thing probably weighs more than my 22 mag rifle. Uh, it's pretty heavy. Let's take it out. No wood on this rifle, on this gun. And it also doesn't have any sights, which is kind of disturbing to me. Uh, I don't see the best. You know, I, you'll see me look up when I'm talking to you sometimes with my head tilted back. Well, that's because I'm having to look through my bifocals. So I don't know if this will create a problem. Now, the scopes on my 30-06 and my 30-30, they're great big around. So I can see effectively, but we're going to see how this one is. Uh, the stock's plastic. Uh, the hand rest is soft. Feels pretty good. Uh, the tail is soft. Why you have to have this big rubber back on an air rifle, I don't know, but we're going to find out. All right. All right, here's my impression, uh, first impression of the rifle without taking it out and shooting it yet. I've got the scope on. Uh, I've got it uh, adjusted in the rings uh, for the best eye relief that I can get. Uh, I'm an avid shooter and I have uh, several scopes. And this scope, in order for me to get the full view, when I put it up here to my shoulder, the center of this scope is looks like I'm looking through about a quarter of an inch. It doesn't fill the entire field. Okay? I've got scopes downstairs that when at my house, in the house, that when I put my arm on here and put it like this, I see the entire the entire end of this is full. Well this one's not that way. In order for me to accomplish that, I have to set the scope up here and get within all that far of the scope in order for it to fill my field of view. That's kind of problematic, but I guess I'll just have to deal with it. It's not like this was expensive. I paid uh, $79.95 at Wally World for it. Uh, so now I guess the true test is going to be to fire it. So let's take it out and see what it'll do, if it'll stop raining. Folks, here we are ready to test fire. Uh, what I've got, of course, you know, I had to set it so that uh, I've set this sight back as far as I can get it. So it's hard for me to see through it a little bit. Uh, maybe somebody with a little less neck stiffness. Anyway, I've got it set. I've got the scope on. It's turned where it's 90 degrees. The sights inside are perpendicular. So I've got it ready to fire and start test firing. So to start doing this, this has got a different safety from anything I was ever used to. Uh, 
the safety is in the trigger. It's just a little lever that pulls up and down. Let me show you. It's just a little second lever right here that pulls up and down for fire and safe. That's fire and pull down like that is safe. So that's different. I'll have to get used to that. Uh, in order to break this down, now I was uh, a little confused. I actually had to look it up because I tried to just hold on to it and pull it down and I couldn't get it to do that. What you actually have to do is you actually have to wrap the barrel slightly. Pull it down. It's real hard to pull down. Okay, so a kid might have problems with this. Of course, it's not a kid air rifle. Now, the thing about air rifles is, is right here, I have 250 shots. Now, can you imagine carrying a 22, 250 shots around with you all the time? So, you could have two or 3,000 shots of this, and it might be, this might be the perfect prepper weapon. I don't know. But anyway... And am I a prepper? Well, we'll talk about that in another video. So I'm going to take and get a pellet out, <clears throat> if I can get him open. Let me set this down here. Well, there we go. I'll show you what a pellet looks like. I'm going to get out a couple of them. Of course, these look a little different from the pellets of my youth. I used to uh, shoot a Crossman pellet rifle as a kid. Here's what the pellet looks like. I don't know if you can see that too well. It has a little dent on the back and it has a sharp point on the end. It's designed to mush up, so you just put the pellet right in the barrel. And it pushes in a little tougher than I thought it would push. So you pull the barrel back up and you gotta do it hard. It's not, uh, it doesn't appear that it's gonna let you do it easy. Now. Let's do a first fire. Uh, this is basically for sound. I'm going to try and hit that Coke cup, but I might hit it and I might not. Wow. It's got quite a bit of recoil. I'm shocked. Let's try that again. I couldn't tell where I hit. So we'll try it again. Yep, put it on safety. Alright, it's on safe. Put in another pellet. It says it takes 250 shots to get it to where it uh, will do correctly. So. Wow, that hit the Coke cup. I'm shocked. Uh, at 30 yards, I just stuck the scope on it, and it hit the Coke cup. Uh, or at 30, 30 feet, not 30 yards, 30 feet. So that hit the Coke cup. Let's see how far off I am about hitting it. Let's try it one more time, a third shot. Boy, it's hard to cock. Another pellet in. And these pellets ram in there. They're tight. They're not like the, the BB guns I had as a kid. Okay, set the safety back on to fire.
Wow. Hit it again. Right where I aimed. Here are my final thoughts on the Craftsman Nitro F4. Uh, the gun is really heavy. It's heavy when you've got it out at arm's length. Uh, it can really benefit from a steady rest. Uh, for me, what's a steady rest? A fork stick that's about as tall as me sitting down. Uh, it can really benefit from a steady rest. But I got out my tape measure and I've got a 32 ounce Coke cup up there here on the hill and I'm shooting at the lid. I'm shooting at the lid. I've shot 14 shots out of this gun without messing with the sights. And I took my tape measure and I measured 44 feet. That's how far I am away, 44 feet. And uh, 14 shots, nine of them are in the Coke cup without ever touching the sight, without ever touching the scope. Uh, can I shoot it on my shoulder? No, it's not comfortable. But guess what? The recoil is not much, and they give you a hand grip right here. Okay? This hand grip is great. That way, I can just set the gun up here on my shoulder, turn it on its side, and get a good view through this scope of whatever I want to shoot at. I don't have a problem with shooting it that way. As a matter of fact, you could shoot this gun like that, just holding it out at arm's length. Uh, it's too heavy to shoot that way and hit anything, but you could. There's not enough recoil to worry about. You can put your eye almost on the scope. Uh, if my mind don't change, I'll probably cut this barrel off, about this stock off about right here. But I don't know. I may not do that either. It's uh, It feels pretty comfortable to hold it. Uh, now, a box of pellets. Let me put the caps back on this. I bought this at Walmart the day before yesterday. I've been wanting to get out here and shoot it bad. Uh, I bought this at Walmart the day before yesterday for $79.95. It's 1,200 feet per second. Uh, at 60 yards or at 60 feet it'll go through a half inch pine board okay so think about that for a minute that would go into a human and could possibly be lethal so this is not a kid's toy let me say that again this is not a kid's toy uh, These pellets are three dollars for two hundred and fifty two two ninety seven uh, for two hundred and fifty. Now, after I took a steady rest with these pellets, I was hammering that cup uh, within a three inch square. You could have probably covered them all with a quarter. After the first four or five shots, I was there. I adjusted the scope just a little bit and dead on at 44 feet or 42 feet, whatever. It's 44 or 42 feet out through there. I get that close to the rabbits in the easy go every morning. So I think this might be an excellent homesteader gun. So that's my review of the Crossman F4. Okay, on to the next thing. I'd like to thank you for visiting with us at College Hill Farm today. I hope you found our videos entertaining and, and or informative. Uh, if you did, please like, share, subscribe, and comment on both Facebook and YouTube. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.